Every year, children across the United States die from being left in a hot vehicle. But here in Florida, a proposed law known as a RIAS Act is aimed at preventing hot car deaths. This would guarantee that her name would be forever remembered and honored. If the life of just one child is saved, Araya would not have died in vain. Today, the grandmother of Araya Page testified in front of the Senate Rules Committee to explain why Araya's act should become law. This past summer in McClenny, the little girl died after deputies say she was left in a hot SUV for hours by her babysitter, who is now awaiting trial for manslaughter. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignier breaks down the emotional testimony in Tallahassee. Senator Garcia. Testimony in front Senator of the Senate Hooper. Rules Committee to support proposed Senator Senate Cushing. Bill 554, also known as Arias Act, began with emotional statements from Senator Jennifer Bradley. Araya Page passed away at 10 months old in July of 2023 after being left in a car by her babysitter in Baker County. The babysitter is identified as 46-year-old Rhonda Jewell, who is currently awaiting trial for manslaughter. Araya's mother, Brooke Page, was the person who showed up at this McClenney home and discovered her daughter in the back of Jewell's SUV, which was still parked in the driveway. During testimony in front of the Rules Committee, Araya's grandmother mentioned what Jewell reportedly told investigators. When asked if she planned to return to get her, she said no, because she completely forgot she was there. Araya was left unattended in the vehicle from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. when Brooke arrived to pick her up. She was left in that vehicle for five hours on one of the hottest days in the summer of 2023. Months after Araya's death, her family and Senator Jennifer Bradley have been proposing that Araya's act become law. Under the proposal, the month of April would be designated as Hot Car Death Prevention Month. During that month, various state and local government agencies would be tasked with sponsoring events that educate the public on the dangers of leaving unattended children in vehicles. Passing this bill into law would speak volumes about the commitment to serving and protecting the children and the families of Florida. How many times you see parents pulling up, picking up kids or dropping off kids? I think the notification like this should be uh, handed out to them to make sure that Parents are aware not to forget their child in their, in their vehicles. According to the Kids and Car Safety Organization, last year across the U.S., there were 29 children who died after being left in a hot vehicle. Now, as we scroll down this list, we'll see that uh, Araya Page was the 16th child who died after she was left in a hot SUV. If Senate Bill 554 is passed, lives will be saved and our family will be forever grateful because Araya will never be forgotten again. According to Senator Bradley, the bill is now headed to the House and Senate floor. Meanwhile, Rhonda Jewell is scheduled to go on trial in June.